today's topic is um, business processes business processes are very very important in any organization or any industry if the business processes fails the whole organization the whole company will fail business processes are very important especially in this competitive market every company is um, trying to improve their business processes they want to find out what are the gaps in the business processes if they could not able to find the gaps could not able to withstand the competition then they are trying to merge with the other companies or selling their businesses So now we will see why business processes are very important. If company could not able to satisfy the satisfy the customer, that is due to lack of business processes. There is there are gaps in the business processes. in any industry there are three types of business processes they are very very important one is management processes main processes and support processes if the management processes could not able to give full support to the main processes that will fail the business same as support processes if support processes could not able to give correct information back to the main processes that will also fail the organizational goal and the company will fail now we will see what are those main management processes main processes and support processes management processes are corporate alignment planning portfolio management governance risk and compliance integration business development exploration project management if any of these business processes fails or there are gaps or conflict that will affect the operational processes same thing from the support processes finance is part of the support processes if financial department if finance department could not able to give the correct information back to the main processes so main processes they don't know what to do they follow the reports the instructions the figures we will provide to the main processes if the finance department or controlling department could not able to give correct information back to the main processes the operational processes operational management they don't they don't know what to do so that is why our finance is part of the support processes as a functional consultant we have to give we have to help the business to give correct statements correct reports back to the main processes we have to find out the gaps in the business processes and try to fill those gaps with the correct information
if you go to any company you can see uh, people will be complaining saying that oh the top management is not good what does it mean if there is a conflict between two senior vice presidents that will affect the management or the main processes the all the employees will also have the same type of feelings and they have two different groups and um, the other things will happen and everything will be collapsed if the management is not correct <coughs> they don't know what is what are their goals expectations what are their what's their vision objective they don't know what they are going to do if they don't have a proper strategic planning that will also fail the business same thing from the finance and uh, business intelligence support services if these support processes could not able to give the correct information for example business intelligence business intelligence is mainly for analytical tools this is the tool for analytics all the reports depending on these reports the business will follow the instructions from finance we have the balance sheet account pnl accounts if our balance sheet or pnl accounts are not correct that is that will also affect our operational processes so that is why these processes are very very important in any organization so now we will see only financials what are the main processes within the financials so there are four different components in the financials that is finance functional management finance and accounting enterprise performance management corporate finance enterprise risk management within the finance you have the general ledger gl accounts fixed assets purchase to pay then um, under general uh, general accounting you have the reporting under accounting you have the product costing profitability analysis cost centers and profit centers so on and so forth so uh, if you drill down more in finance these are the sub modules or sub business processes like reporting fixed assets purchase to pay then coming to the business um uh, processes levels in general most of the companies they will go up to level 4 level 4 is common level 5 is specific to few companies only depending on their business processes critical uh, issues so level 1 is like finance and accounting level 2 is um, order to cash or general ledger report to reporting or purchase to pay or fixed assets these are level 2 level 3 in this scenario order to cash authorization and manage credit level 4 assess new customer credit risk and level 
request credit check. So these are the five different levels in the business processes. Now you can see the model, business processes model, what are their components and objects. Level one is um, enterprise process map. In this case, uh, we selected the main processes like supply chain management. Level two is uh, sales and operational planning. Level three is balance, supply and demand. Level four, release to supply network planning. This is the pyramid structure. Level one is the highest level in any business processes. You can say maybe uh, any business processes within the management processes or main processes or support processes. Then level two is within the management processes or main processes, support processes. You can see next level processes. For example, if you take finance, that is level one. Level two is uh, purchase to pay. Then coming to level three, payment to vendors. Or level three, maybe we can say that, okay, document, accounts payables, documents, and level three is payment to vendors. Then you, you know, now you can see that um, how these levels are break down and drilled to more detailed level. So level four is the lowest level and it is more detailed step by step and that is why they call process step. If you look at this diagram you can see the level one is mapped with level two. So this is level one main processes. This is mapped to level two. If you double click this one you get these are the sub processes within this level one and if you double click this one you will go to the level three level level three this is a uh, main process model and if you double click this main process model you go into deep about the process steps this is level four so that's why these four levels are very very important in any organization and of as a functional consultant, we have to find out what are the processes, where are the gaps, and how to modify, how to improve the performance. Those are the things we have to identify and uh, provide solution back to the business. Okay, so that's why these business processes are very, very important. Uh, so you know that finance is part of the support processes. Only the procurement, inventory management, supply chain, marketing, they are the main processes. Okay. Bye.